Hi, my name is Suba Gerwal and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to make the remainder a decimal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn the remainder into a fraction. And then our second step is going to be taking that fraction and turning it into a decimal. Which is something we should already know how to do at this point. Super simple. So say we're dividing 128 by 5. We're going to leave us with a remainder th of 3. Okay? Now, how do we make this a decimal? So the first thing we're going to want to do is turn it into a fraction. And this fraction is actually written as the remainder over the divisor, or the thing that 128 was divided by. So in this case, it would be 3, remainder on top, divisor on bottom, 3 fifths. Now to turn it into a decimal, you can either just type it into a calculator, or we know decimals are based on tens. Turn this into some notion of 10 by multiplying it by 2 over 2, and of course 2 over 2 is another way of writing 1, so it won't change the actual value of the fraction. 6 tenths should be written as 0.6. And that's how you take a remainder, turn it into a decimal. My name is Sue Bell Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.